Hello everyone, my name is Gracian and welcome to episode 2 of Hell Slave. We're playing as uh, Spooktober uh, for my Spooktober extravaganza here on uh, my channel. So uh, we are level 2, we are exploring the first dungeon. We just got our first major spell, Ice Pillar, so I'm excited to try that out. So let's continue on. Now if you didn't see my episode 1, that was the tutorial uh, with a bit of gameplay, a couple of battles, just so I could sort of explore all the different facets of the game. We're going to continue on. I don't know how many episodes I'm going to do, but the game does continue to introduce systems for a little while after this. So we'll, we'll, we'll get at least a couple more of those before we stop. So tombs, they might contain interesting items or famished corpses. All right, urns. We have leg armor, which we don't have yet. It gives us max health and some coins. The corridor goes down to the necropolis. Okay. So here we have an anomaly where you can hear sort of echoes from, from something else. You can listen carefully. Death, great death, thank you. Without you, nothing would make sense nor have flavor. Thank you for destroying everything. Very strange. Uh, so let's head on up here. So we have a spot here. The room down below where the tombs have been pillaged or opened from the inside. Creepy. Got some more urns. Okay, now here we have a trap. So you've fallen into a trap. When the trap triggers, press quickly on the three red dots. You just have to kind of click like each of the dots to avoid it. If you manage to avoid the trap, you'll earn an experience bonus. If you fail, you lose some life. So stay on your guard. All right, so you just click on these real quick. And now we have a plus bonus to experience for the rest of the dungeon, which is pretty cool. I haven't actually failed a trap yet, so I don't know how much damage it does. Should probably find that out. Uh, they used to expose urns in that room. I don't, I don't know what that means. Any more urns. Okay, a bunch of coins. We got 14 more gold. A glowing portal. It looks like it leads into a dimension bathed in the furnace. It's impossible to enter. The heat is too strong. We will come back to this at a later time. This is not a tomb, it looks more like a mass grave. Jump! Alright, so we have a battle. This is good, I want to try my new spell. Okay, you're, if you're in a bad spot, use potions to heal yourself. You just need to click on them like powers. But these do have... Um, um, it says instant, but I'm almost positive they have a time related to them in combat. So I'm not sure how to see that. It says instant, but I swear they're not. I don't know how else to explain it. So let's start smacking Pyrog, the Enraged Revenant. He's fast. And this is just a regular zombie. So let's smack this guy with the Ice Pillar. Oh, a critical hit. That's right, the first thing I do in, it is a critical. in this Because of that blessing we got. So let's smack him again. So also push him back a couple of seconds. He's got a little bit of poison on him. Our melee damage is actually quite high, so we could we could probably do a, a couple melees here. Taking a lot of damage here. Twenty-five damage. Good lord, that's a lot of damage. Right, so let's let's finish him off with a uh, with this little cheap one because it's fast. That way we can move on to this guy here. Now I'm in a bit of trouble here, so I'm gonna use this potion. Okay, now it was instant here. I swear it's not instant all the time. I don't know how to explain that. Okay, he died from poison and the bleeding a little bit. That's awesome. All right, Victor, we got a fair amount of experience. We got a bonus from our blessings. Uh, mono regeneration at the end of the fight, or blessing of the pandemonium health and mono regen. So we can do this now, and it'll give us a little bit now. So we got the medallion of Arcady, the tragic destiny, alas. Uh, we got an axe. We got a corpse. Sar. Both hands. Melee damage, plus six to nine. Sweep, 20% chance of hitting all enemies. Add six poison points in melee. Used a dagger. Not going to be using that. Okay. Now, this would add to our magic damage. We'd lose a lot of melee damage. This is five to eight. This is six to nine. So this is, except for bleeding, this is just a better weapon. So let's use this for now. It's literally a saw. 
and then uh, eventually we'll start getting a magic weapon because every time we level our magic damage goes up so eventually like it just won't be a good idea to use melee as much i mean i'm sure it won't ever be super weak so let's continue on so we've completed our quest but we do have one node left we could explore which we might as well because i'm not in a lot of danger here some more urns we got a trap uh oh there we go so we get more experience again but i i think i'm out of stuff to, to do in this dungeon i could just wander around for a super long time and try to get another fight to happen um we have a mission update here yeah we have the medallion bring it back to his grandpa okay so we can just leave just by clicking the the entrance where you came in it would be nice if they marked it on the map just in case you like saved and quit and then forgot where you were but it's no big deal i think i will wander around for a little bit and just see if this threat does go up so i will pause and i'll be right back threat doesn't seem to be rising it could be because this is sort of the tutorial dungeon so um we'll, i'll check that out in a future a future dungeon so let's head on out loading the map and then we can ride on back to the left talk to grandpa my little Arcady, I expected it, and yet the medallion will be the only thing left of him. Thanks for taking that risk for me. Take the money. I hope it will help you. All right, and we leveled up from that. Awesome. Powers, max stuff, two mana at the end of a fight. That's a cool ability. And then we have a couple of quests, it looks like. So let's um, grab our next power. So we have Belial's Fumes. Demonic Fumes give you 16 to 20 health. The effect increases by one point per level fatigue for two of uh, two seconds. That's interesting. So it's that's a fair amount of health, actually. Um, one point per level. Uh, what else can we grab? Shadow of Ball gives you a 55% dodging bonus for two seconds. Okay, that's interesting. And then we have Infernal Storm. Offensive spell on all enemies. Inflicts double magic damage on all enemies. Okay. Uh, let's grab that one because once we start fights with more than one enemy at a time it gets a little tougher so let's grab aoe and then for passives let's see we have when an enemy dies you recover seven percent of your mana accuracies plus seven percent chance that spells will hit um that's not bad i'd hate to miss with something that costs so much cold blood as soon as you have 10 rage points they turn into five mana points you receive rage points when you use a basic attack when you're hit by a melee attack or through other items and passive powers. That's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna grab the accuracy. I hate missing. And then we also have momentum. This is a new system we've been given. Momentum triggers every 20 seconds during a fight. Time stops and you can use a single, uh, a single use ability. So choose some powers and slide them towards the top. Now there's a healing one. You recover 20% of your maximum health. If your health is under 30%, you recover 40% instead. That's a great one. Um, you play right away. You turn into a demon. Chance of dodging goes up. Dodge the next attack. You get 75% of received damage during the next attack in mana. Your next attack will be instant. Deal your magic damage to all enemies. The lower your health, the higher the damage. Your next attack is critical and cannot miss. I like that. Um... Next attack will be instant. Those seem pretty good. So we've got a, a support to keep us alive, and then we've got ways to, to kill stuff and do a lot of damage. Critical, and then this one is uh, make it instant, so we can go right away after that. Okay. So let's go talk to some of the quest givers here. What do we have here? This voice, are you the one everyone's talking about? The stranger from the west? Sorry, I don't want to disturb you. Never mind, I'm just a poor blind girl. Now, she'll be important later. Are you sure I don't bother you? The ashes of my husband are in an urn in the necropolis. Now the place is corrupted. I think he would rather rest in the village. If you could find the urn there, I might have something for you. Okay, and then we have a commander. North of the village, a mine has been invested by, uh, infest, infested, they put a V there accidentally, by a demonic cult. If I believe your testimony, they could come from these caves. We have already tried to force them out, but we are not up to it. Three of our soldiers have been made prisoner during the assault. If you could save them and see what's going on, that would be a good start. All right, so we have two missions now. We've got to go back to the necropolis we were just in. Uh, and we also have to go to the next dungeon. So I'll probably do this one real quick, um, just because I want the rewards and stuff. But in the meantime, we also want to go to the druid. 
And the reason we want to do that is because you can now buy a refill of your health vial. So we can have up to three. So if we grab this, we now go back up to three uses. Um, we can also buy some different stuff from her. They're very expensive. So for now, what we're going to do is just sell off uh, all this stuff in our inventory. I don't really want to worry about any of this stuff. I'm probably going to find better gear. So I'm not going to worry too much about hanging on to this to like swap my items in and out. And then we don't need to heal. Uh, we could possibly buy a food ration. It's probably not a terrible idea to have one of those. They're like 11 bucks or something, which isn't super cheap, but um, yeah, it's whatever. We'll take that. And then let's head on out. So let's head back to the Tomb of Heroes into the Necropoli Necropolis and find her, uh, what is this, her husband's ashes. So everything has reset. You can see our threat level is imminent right now. So we can go back through here and, and loot stuff or look for fights. I'll probably put, I think I'd rather have the armor than two points of poison. fight out of that one. Okay, so we have three zombies. When you kill an enemy, you earn a demonic point. With four points, you can take your demonic form that is now in your action bar, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't know what this one does because I've only played with uh, Ball as my as my uh, like um, patron. So we have Leviathan form. Leviathan form. Consume four demonic points. Magic damage plus 15%. Chance of a critical hit with magic plus 10%. You, lose, you get 10% of your total mana, last 30 seconds. Uh, well, let's go ahead and try it out. There we go, there's me down there, demon form. And then let's uh, Infernal Storm here. Oh, that was pretty good. I like that. Okay, but now we're taking a beaten. We could smash him again with this and just end the fight. It's a lot of mana, but, I mean, it's probably worth it. Get some of it back anyway. Yeah, okay, that's not, not terrible. Victory! Uh, experience, plus 25%, health and mana regen, or re regeneration for mana at the end of a fight. Let's take that one, because that'll last the rest of the, the dungeon. We got a better helmet, and we got this branch again. God, I'm tempted to use this just because it gives the better magic. It's probably about time, yeah, because my magic damage was kind of bad. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to this. I like to keep things I'm keeping down here and everything else up here. I don't want to become invisible. All right, let's search for those ashes. This might be a. This might be uh, what it is. Yeah, ghosts. I bet this gives me the ashes. Um. These ones are physical resistance, so this is a pretty good idea to use this. Inflict double magic damage, so that is the minimum of 20, so they should die from this. Oh, unless he dodges it. Let's just melee this one. This one's kicking the shit out of me. Alright. Whoa, 31. Did I get a crit, or is that just how much that does? Pants. Wild pants. Armor. Rage at the beginning of combat. Chance of dodging. Um, it's not actually better for us because we don't need the rage and we don't need. I mean, two percent dodge. I'd rather have seven health, right now at least. Um, we do need to heal. You can use these outside of combat. Um, you just clicking left clicking doesn't do it. You have to right click it. It just doesn't tell you how to do it. I'm not gonna worry about the mana. Actually, regen a lot of mana. I didn't get the quest item yet. Oh, here we go. Human, not touch, earns. <laughs> Leave. Human, not see, not understand, die. The art, the enemies, everything's like super cool and, and thematic and spooky. Sometimes the translation does make things a little, a little funny. <laughs> Uh, Ar Arzoth, Keeper of the Urns. Okay. Um, we can go into our demon form again, actually. We didn't do that. We get 10 mana back, which is good. 
or 10%. Um, and then we can start here, Ice Pillar. It slows them down a little bit. I love that, it's so cool. It pushes them back a second or two. And I'm taking a hell of a beating here. I need to heal up. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. Momentum, I can heal. Next attack is critical. Your next attack is instant. Uh, he's going before me, so I better heal. Yeah, he hit me for double what I just healed. That's cr that's that's a lot. Uh, let's do a lightning bolt. There we go. It's fast. That way, if he had dodged, we could have uh, made up for it. Okay, bonuses. Magical crit, 4%. More regeneration or magical damage. Let's go with that one. Although I think we're probably just going to leave. Funeral urn. Boots. Bottle filled with hoop. Offhand, every 10 seconds you gain 3 health, mana, and rage. Chance of dodging plus 4%. Hell yeah. Oh, I want to... Oh, I'm using a two-hander. Ooh, okay. I'll hang on to this for now. I guess I find a one-hander. A corrupted archdruid staff. Melee and magic damage. Adds 2 to 4 poison. Adds 3 poison when you cast a spell. That's it. That's a good one. Okay, cool. Uh, training spear and big purse of gold. Neat. So we probably won't want this now because we got this really good two-hander. Human. Stupid and blind. Well. It's not a tomb. Or it looks more like a mass grave. Oh, another fight. I didn't expect that or I would have healed. Okay. That's all right. We can handle it. Just zap everybody. Bam. Whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute! Oh my god! Okay, easy peasy. More boots. Basic wand. Yeah, that's different from the other crap wand we started with. It's interesting. Okay, um... Should I leave or keep going? I think I'll leave after this. Corrupted Druid Helm. Armor, magical damage, and two points of poison when you cast a spell. That's good. Ooh. Um, Circle of Restoration Finger. Health regeneration at the end of combat plus two. Here's another corpse. Sar. We've got the same item here. Here's a Forbidden Ritual Scythe. Melee. Uh, it's melee. We don't want that. All right, so let's get out of here. I can invisible up so things won't attack me for 10 seconds. So you can see I don't have threat anymore because there's no chance of, of me being attacked. I click to exit. Let's go back home. Talk to the woman. How brave. Thank you so much. Choose one of our wedding rings. May it bring you strength in your ordeal. So we can get the mana regen at the end of combat or the health regen at the end of combat. Um, health regen. Let's take the mana regen. Give me that one. Thank you. Okay, let's put that on before I forget and accidentally sell it. Don't need the plus one melee damage. Okay. And then now we have that quest to go to the other dungeon. So let's go heal up in the inn. It only costs three gold. Um, potion refilling is 11 gold for each uh, point of potion. So this is like a, a steal, really. Uh, but we do want to go there and grab those restocks because it's too dangerous to not do it. We can also just sell all this stuff off. We have 117. And now we're up to 192, which is awesome. So let's just buy uh, 10 gold, 10, because there's 20 gold to refill those. And now we're good to go. And then here's our um, stash. If we had any crafting in ingredients, which you can find. We shouldn't have anything for the librarian. Let me just double check. Nope. Okay, let me just save the game real quick, just in case. And now we want to head up to the Mine of the Demon. The three prisoners. So we're looking for three, hopefully alive, soldiers that got captured up here. Minimum level recommended two. We are level three, almost four, actually. Really got a lot of experience. So now we're in the mines. Our threat level is imminent, so we can see to the left we have a small staircase leading to a storeroom. 
North, we have the corridor leads to the mine. So this is the mine down here. And then over here, we have the narrow pathway goes to the pit. So let's head to the storeroom first, see what we find. Demonic Shrine. Beelzebub wants me to spill blood. Satan, I have to defeat his henchmen and he'll give me his power. Or Mammon gives me gold. Uh, let's spill blood in his glory. I don't know what that does. Um, I don't seem to have any buffs or anything. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's my cat yelling. The rattling of chains leaves no doubt. The zone was used as a prison. Well, what's that noise? What are you doing here? You come from Beleth? I see. I am not one of the prisoners you speak of. I am a former cultist. When I understood what was happening here, I tried to flee in vain. No need to try and free me. It's better if I remain bound. But maybe if you kill enough of my old peers, I will help you. Come see me when it is done. So we have to uh, kill the cultists in this place. Stench from the latrine is repugnant. At least the cultists don't linger. Gross. Why would they? Corpse of a poor soul. Some stuff. We got an orb of atmospheric explosion. Offhand, when you hit or get hit in melee, you have a 30% chance of striking your enemy and dealing 22 damage. That's a lot. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't do much for our build. We really want magic damage. 30% um, chance. So I'd say... You know, that's an average of six to seven damage. You know, if we're saying it happens 30% of the time. So that is a big increase in DPS, but I lose all my magic, lose my poison. Yeah, I think this is still better. What I fear is that in this game, having a, a main hand and an off hand is always better than having a two hander, but I'm not positive on that. Okay, so we have some cultists, enraged miner. This guy boosts allies, and this guy blows up. He's a barrel thrower, so we gotta get rid of this guy. So let's start with uh, let's start with this infernal storm, and then we'll go into this form. Uh, I'd rather just do this now because the magic damage goes up. My Leviathan form, bam. That's pretty good. Probably use that again. Ow. I really need some armor. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Okay, so that guy's dead. What is this going to do? Three times your magic damage, so the minimum would be 60. Goodness. Oh my god. I'll probably just smack this guy. He's got poison on him. Ooh, let's get it. There we go. Health and mana regen. We leveled up, so we get an active, a passive, more max stuff. Magic, plus one magical damage, plus one percent magical critical hit chance. Um, here's the mana after a fight. That's awesome. Armor. Uh, grass, snake, trainer, flute. Adds one to two poison points in melee. Well, we'll put it on, just because we have nothing else. It's a support item, so it sort of modifies things. Usually... Um, either the start of battle or when you like hit things is what I've seen so far, but there could be all sorts of other cool stuff. Victory in less than 40 seconds, I got plus two health potions from Beelzebub. That's interesting, so that's what that does. Fascinating, okay. So the reformed cultist wants me to kill 10 total cultists. Let's go to our powers and get an active. I may need to grab a, a heal. Uh, I am worried. Like, I have an AoE and a single target, but my health does go down quickly. So let's grab the health. And then let's go to the passives. And what have we unlocked? When you are attacked, whether hit or not, you have a chance to retaliate with an infernal storm that inflicts 50% of your magic damage on all enemies. So there's a 25% chance every time I'm attacked, whether I dodge or not, to do 50% magic damage to every enemy. That's pretty cool. Cardiac explosion. When an enemy dies, their heart explodes, inflicting damage equal to 10% of their max health on other enemies. Um, that's not bad either. Lord of Ether. Magical critical hit chance plus 5%. Neat. Cold blood. Uh, yeah, the rage one. 
And then here's magic uh, mana regen. Let's grab the, when I'm attacked, I might just retaliate for free thing. That's just free damage estate. Oh God, I love this game. This is so fun. Um, I'm sorry, my cat's on me again. Where do we want to go? Let's head up into the mine. Looks like we're about done with this episode as well. So let's investigate one more node and then we'll call it here. A trap door. Who knows what's lurking in the shadows? Stuff. Stuff is lurking. Okay, we've got an exterminator of Niv Nivlath. Both hands. Melee damage, chance of bleeding, max health, four damage to all enemies. So we this is cool, but we magic damage is 16 to 19. If we put this on. It would go down pretty darn far. So I think we're still better off with this. This will sell for a, a lot. Here's a wrist, armor, max health, and every 10 seconds you heal two. Awesome. There's a leather belt. That's awesome as well. We don't we don't have much armor, so every point is good. Uh, here's a, just a better one. Just gives us plus one melee damage. And here's some gold. Okay, so I think we'll call this episode here. On the next one, we'll continue exploring the mines, and we need to look out for some quests, uh, some cultists to kill for this quest, and we have to look out for three different prisoners uh, here in the mines. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this series for my Spooktober extravaganza, and I will see all of you in the next episode. Oh, do the liking and the subscribing and all that stuff too. Thank you. Okay, see you then. <laughs>